Hello, I'm Richard Hooper and this is Sat TV Week. Now I'm here on the Isle of Man where I'm pleased to be joined by Heather Gordon of Keynes. Heather, tell me a little bit more about Keynes and its involvement in the space sector. We provide legal and administrative services to companies wishing to space, set up a space company here on the Isle of Man and looking for regulatory advice or structuring advice here. Now what advantage does the Isle of Man have over its peers? Being a small jurisdiction, um, companies have easy access not just to the government but also the different sectors within the space industry over here, so banking, financial, administrative services, legal and insurance. The island is actually a small community. Does that have a negative or positive effect on development of industries? Generally positive. Um, the aerospace cluster over here is a well-knit group. Um, if somebody needs assistance, there is a, a quick go-to community here on the Isle of Man where advice can be sought. Um, I would say it's generally positive. Now, has the development of the space sector and its success helped generate other businesses? Certainly. Um, we've found many, many times, especially with my work, that somebody gets a taste of the Isle of Man, um, whether it be in space or aviation, then they're more willing to try other aspects of the Isle of Man. And yes. How big a role does the Isle of Man government play? It's a facilitative government. They assist very much so with ease of regulation, cooperation with an industry and providing contacts. Also going out to the market, showing that we're the Isle of Man and promoting us. Now is there any specific area where they could actually do more to help promote the space sector? I think perhaps going forward a more of a focus on specific companies targeting corporations. We've done very well at going out to conferences, to the bigger picture, and now sort of drawing back and focusing specifically on, on targeting our message on companies and satellite groups. That would be that would be going forward very beneficial. The island is perceived uh, mainly with regards to financial services, and in some cases is regarded as a tax haven. How do you change this perception? There's more to the Isle of Man than just that. Certainly, and I would say anybody that does business with the Isle of Man would not have that perception. Although we are a tax-neutral jurisdiction, we are very, we've got an awful lot of good reputation in the space industry. In addition to finance, we also have uh, the aerospace cluster, uh, precision engineering companies over here. We have a good reputation way beyond just the, the finance and the, the, the tax setting. How important is the regulatory regime to the island's success? It's incredibly important. We come under the umbrella of the UK legislation with respect to space. So the Outer Space Act um, has come to us through the Outer Space Order. Um, our government is fantastic through this that they will adapt the regulation uh, to be flexible towards the Isle of Man at uh, commercial speed. So if our customers, uh, our clients are looking for a particular area of the regulation to be changed within the framework itself, we will try and um, look to that and to access that as, as best possible. Are there any specific things that you target to help promote the industry? Is there anything that's really holding it back at the moment? I'm not sure there's anything holding it back. As I said before, going and specifically targeting the message towards individuals to a specific business group, I think is, is the way forward in this, to really get our message into the boardrooms and into the companies themselves, rather than just looking at the bigger picture, the conferences and so forth. Heather, thank you very much. Thank you.